In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create seven options infographic slide in PowerPoint and you can use this slide for a variety of purposes like you can show for values, mission, vision or you want to show some other options also. So let me just show you how I did this one for our values. I've used one blue uh, rectangle uh, with a white font. So you can see here you can add your the title and the detailed text and when I click the first value come which is the responsibility then comes the second one third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section I have used Office 2019 version to do this. However, with any version, you can simply make this slide. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, not covering the half slide. You can see here, you can leave some space. You can see the line here then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice if you want to give gradient also you can give that one then i'm going to add few more rectangles for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle from this end till here you can see here again shape outline make it no outline and then you can give any color of your choice for example i want to give some light color maybe all right and i can just duplicate this by pressing ctrl d duplicate this one and then i'm going to give some more dark color something like this you can see here and then i can increase a little bit maybe the color is matching with that one so maybe more light color i think this is okay so now i'm going to select both this hold the ctrl shift key together just add it exactly below so depending on your requirement you can add as many as you want all right so i've added one two three four five six seven now i'm going to increase the size of this one somewhat increase this is i'm going to reduce this is okay this is further i'm reducing and this is i'm increasing so you can see here like that i have done now i'm going to make it more center aligned so i'm going to select these rectangles and bring it down all right you can see something like this so equal gap uh, spacing has to be there at the bottom and the top and then i can add few oval shapes so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and put it exactly here all right and then the color i'm going to give the color of this one which i have used for this the second one all right then press ctrl d to duplicate and for this i'm going to give the color which i have used for the first one or vice versa you can see here if the rectangle is this one i'm going to give this color and if the oval shape is this one i'm going to give the second color all right so now it's easy for me i can just duplicate this one and i'm going to put it exactly here again duplicate this should come here and the last one and once again what you can do is you can just zoom in and check whether it is aligned properly or not then press ctrl d i'm going to add for this all right and then ctrl d i'm going to add here again zoom and make sure that it is properly aligned so you can see it is not aligned properly i think now it's aligned so once this is done i'm going to group this select this and this press ctrl g to group it you can see here ctrl sorry ctrl g again this one both how i'm selecting i'm just selecting the first object then hold the shift key and select the other one all right like this okay now the same thing i'm going to add smaller rectangles here okay so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give again any color here all right 
and then make sure the height uh, of this is matching with this one you can see the height is 0.86 and for this also is 0.86 so let me just zoom in press ctrl d or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and then just add it and give some other color more lighter all right then i'm selecting both and just dragging it down you can see here something like this or you can do it by pressing ctrl d also and then you can see here like this also i can do that one and later on we can do some alignment not an issue with that one so once this is done let me just go and remove the guides and now i'm going to add the numbers here for that go to insert text box the first thing i'm going to add 0 1 or you can make it abcd also center align make it bold make it white and increase the size you can see here so this is number one press ctrl d just start adding for the below options and you can just align it properly i'm just duplicating that one okay now this is done and then make sure that if i select this one it should be properly aligned by holding the shift key and i'm just going to make sure it is aligned left all right and then i'm going to select both of these press ctrl g you can see here the rectangle and this one i have to just group it one by one so this will help me to do the animation uh, easier okay then let me just change this to two this is three four five six and seven all right so once this is done now i'm going to add a uh, text here so go to insert text box i can just say your title make it bold white reduce maybe to 14 font and put it here then you can add some detailed text add detail text here this also i'm going to make it white make it to 12 and then just add it here and reduce the fonts the size then i'm going to select this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to add one by one you can see here later on we can align it properly all right or easier is press hold the ctrl shift key together and add one by one that is most easiest thing and quick thing to do that all right all right done so now this one also i'm just going to reduce the size the next thing is if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can add the icons also you can go to insert icons i'm going to choose the icon any icon of your choice if you're using the older version then this uh, feature is not available so let's wait for the yeah it's open so i'm just randomly selecting seven different icons okay and click insert bring it to the other side i'm going to make the height and width as maybe 0.6 all right and give the color of somewhat gray and then i'm just start going to add one by one here you can see here again if this gray is not matching then you can give some white color also here so once this is done i'm going to select this press ctrl g to group it i'm going to select this one this option only ctrl g you can see here using the mouse you can just group like this all right so now it's grouped so this one is grouped and this also grouped separately okay and then you can add the main title here go to insert text box i'm just saying your headline again center align make it bold increase the size and then below you can add some detailed text so let me just go add equals lorem within bracket 
it will give me some latin text okay reduce the font size maybe center aligned and that's it and if you want to give some gap also you can just give some gap like this all right so you can see here our design is done it's time to do the animation part now so let's do the animation part go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects i can select the peak in you can see here peak in click ok and the how you want from the top bottom uh, you can uh, depending on your requirement you can choose the right option for you and once this is done i'm going to add the same animation to this one maybe this time i want this to come from top so one should come from bottom and other should come from top and then i'll say with previous now if i play you can see it comes something like this all right so again depending on your requirement you can just change that one so animation painter i'm going to click on this one and then this like this simply i can just select one by one and click on the next option so you can see here so quickly i will do it again select the fourth and click on fifth and here also the title i'm going to do the same thing and now fifth i'm selecting clicking on sixth and then you can see here let me just put all right now let's play and see so first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh 